Right, good morning everyone. Now I've got a few things here to share with you and I'm going to show you how to make one of these tassels which really I should have more on the bottom and I think I'll do it on the next one. But I'm just going to show people how to do that. First of all, I got this fabulous little machine in and it's got suckers on the bottom so you can actually you know, um, stand it on a deck somewhere. It works by battery operation. It is supposedly for cleaning glasses, but I was told by somebody to get one of these for the jewellery I'm making. You know, when I'm doing a ring or I put it into this, once it goes into the um, safety pickle and it takes all the darkness from um, using the blowtorch, then what you do is um, you leave it in this, um, the pickle for about 10-15 minutes or however long it takes to clean the silver. And then what you can do is you can pop the silver things or whatever it is you're making, all your jewellery bits, in here, switch it on. And it kind of like gives it a little vibration and and that helps to get rid of anything else that's, you know, any particles. And it's a cute little machine. It, I mean... That's for, I suppose that's for your um, contact lenses as well, but I'm not going to be using it for that. And what I love about it as well is it comes with the smallest of smallest screwdrivers. You know, for your glasses and that, if you want to take them apart and clean them. But it'll come in handy for me. <laughs> Look, tiny, tiny. Like my watch tools. So, uh, and you can hang it on a keychain. So that I'm going to give to my... Um, Son, because I know he'll he deals with little tiny things and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so I think that's going to be a great thing, and it's small enough to put on my deck when I'm working with jewellery. So that is fine. I'm thrilled with that, and um, I got that on the internet. Uh, the other thing is these trims that, uh, that I've been putting up lately. I'm going to move that because I don't actually need that and put that somewhere else. You, the quality of these is fantastic. And I'm not sure people really get to see... See, I work in inches still. I can still do in centimetres and whatever, but I normally work in inches. So this is... Um, that's an inch. Normally, from there to there is roughly an inch. So, you know, you can go one, two, three and a half inches wide. And that's how I do it. But, look, they're just brilliant. I mean, you could make that into a pocket. You could make uh, gather it up. Whatever you wanted to do with it. But... These are the crochet trims. They are of top quality. They are really, really very good quality. And these make awesome flowers. A brilliant, let me just show you. They do really, and they're quite firm but soft. They're nice. And look at the flower. Right? Look at that flower you could get. And these, you're getting three yards per. I mean, some are selling as a yard, but mainly they're selling as three yards. So I think this one's selling at three yards. So you're getting three yards for a couple of quid. And you can't, you, you just won't buy it anywhere else like that. This one. And you can use them for anything. Pockets, um, flowers, you name it. Look at that one. I love that. Now, I wouldn't make a flower out of it. If I was to, I would cut that up the middle. Use this as well. You could use both as a flower that way, and you could turn that that way, and end up with you know like a double row flower like that. See, they're just great for flower making. And to be honest, some of this is just as nice as uh, using lace. It's it is a form of lace, isn't it? But I just love this for a flower. I think you get the most beautiful, clean cut, vintage style flower. Like that, look. The lay right and everything. Beautiful. So that's, uh, there's loads, I've put loads and loads of this kind of lace up on the internet. And, you know, each piece is three yards long. So, I mean, I think I've cut a piece off that one because some of them I'm selling as yards because not everybody can afford three yards. Even though, that you know, you're getting, I think that's 253 quid for all of that. You know. Majority of them are one uh, two pound for the wide ones and one fifty for the others. And for that price, you just can't go wrong. You'd be silly if you miss out. But I know that everybody's got the money. I know that. I'm not silly. Uh, I'm just saying, don't miss out if you can help it. 
Now, the other one um, are these smaller trims which I have in. And I'm just going to undo the tape on this one so you can actually see it. These are also sold in... And thank you to the lady that bought the pack. Because I had, um, like, inch wide, half inch wide. And there was, I think, um, 60 yards for £15 and she bought it. She knows a bargain. And uh, you just grab it while you can. But anyway, look. This one, and it's up for sale is chenille it's a chenille edging and that whether you want to make a small flower or you want to do an edge somewhere brilliant absolutely gorgeous don't miss it and you're getting all of that i think for a, i think it's one pound fifty so three yards for £1.50 and it will make awesome flowers or edging okay that's just to show you what basically what some of the um, trims are like they're absolutely gorgeous now somebody asked me to how big is because I've put I think it's um, five by seven inches <laughs> the canvas pictures can you tell me what a five by well I mean you can always go online and type in um what i mean most rulers i have to say most rulers do inches and centimeters so a five um centimeter one uh, sorry five inches is approximately 12 centimeters so you know <laughs> you can soon see what they've got on so anyway this is the biggest picture we sell the biggest size I'm on about. And most pictures can be bought in this size. But that is the size. Five. Let me just check. Oh, dearie me. I'll tell you it in centimetres. That's five, just over five inches. By seven inches. And in centimetres, that is, well, 13 centimetres. So I won't fire off. Um, and 18 so it's 13 by 18 centimeters and that's the biggest size we do so that's that uh, what was the other thing these I've been making these so I'm going to do some for you so you can see how I do them using these beads that were in the <coughs> kits that I've sold because somebody said I have bought the kit but what do I do about the bead <laughs> how do I make it well I'm going to show you so what we're going to use um, are some I'm going to use the silver pins these are just a flat head pin and they do bend unfortunately when I got my bag they were all bent and I had to sit and straighten them out but there you go so you need one of those now some of them are just done like that, like a hanger, so I can hang that off and off something. So I'll do that one. Oops, lost it. I'll do that one first. So I'm gonna get here. They are. Let me just see. Let's make some space. Got my little tub. Let's just find one of these. I'm not sure if the hole's gonna be. You have to watch the holes in the bottom that they're not too uh, small. So we pop that on there. Um, where, what, which one are we doing? Let me get it. This one. We'll do this one first. So, we need a spacer, which are these little ones, which I've got here. And I'm just using a ring. It's like a little silver ring as a spacer. And then um, a bead, which is a metal bead. So, this is where I... Just delve in and get a metal bead. We'll just use one of these. You don't, I mean, obviously you've got to turn over the end. So we've got a metal bead on there. Now what I do is, because a lot of people just go straight over and do that and it don't work. What you have to do with these is you bend it to one side like that. And then halfway, or just above halfway, bend that back so you've got a hook. And then bend it into place. And you're done. You've made your first one. 
that's probably going to come off there now look see so we won't do that <laughs> and just push that in so that's your first bit so then I'm going to make another one where I'm going to need um, a space of paper. Let's have a look. What shall we do? Shall we do one of these again? I'm going to take a small bead. Oops. There we go. I'm going to take a small bead, pop that on, pop one of those on, pop a elongated pearl. go through now you need to take this end off because otherwise you won't be able to turn it around and each one has to hook onto each other so I'm gonna move that flat that way and then roll that back oops never mind we'll do it that way hook this on where's my bead this one So we put that in there, going to open this end up, pop that on, like that, close that end up, thread the bead on, thread the pearl on, oh sorry, the roundel, then the pearl, Pull that through, flatten that, round that off, like that. Oh, and then what we've got to do, sorry, is to pop on the chain. And there you go. And you've got a perfectly good, um, let me just straighten this one up, it's a bit bent. That's it. So it's how you, you know, you can just keep joining them and make your own little tassel things. Now these, like I say, I've made into a tassel. So that's how you do those. And you're doing the same sort of thing regarding these two sections, but on the bottom of it, let's just get another pin. Let's get a couple of pins, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to use the pin. We've got to cut off the bottom section. We don't want the flat bit, not on this one. And then what we do is, again, we're going to, we need a, a decent size eye. So we do that. Now, I need the smaller chain. What have I done with my smaller chain? Ugh. Let me just get the smaller chain out. There we are. So I get the chain out, because this is what's going to make the tassel. Yeah, right, so I'm just going to do about an inch and a half. They don't have to be exact. You can, if you haven't got them exact, you can uh, do them later on, cut them to size. So you need at least six of those. I've only put four on, well, five maybe, maybe five will do. Let's just see what we can, whoops. Where have I put the damn thing? Where did I put it here? Oh, fee, come on, mate. So, now, a lot of people will st spend time and they'll be trying to hook them all on like that. No, go to the top, right? Just go to the top. It's a lot easier than fiddling about because I can't stand fiddling about. And put on as many as you need. If the eye's not big enough, you might have to redo the eye. But you can do them any size you want. That's a decent sized tassel, that'll do. We don't need much. It's just a decoration. Drop all that into the... Yeah, I'm going to have to do a bigger one, I think. Right. Drop all of that in to the eye. Oh, no, that'll do. And then we bring that eye up together. Now, I still need to push that back. 
I've brought that too close and just bring that eye section in and there you go you've got your tassel and I'm not fussed about one being a bit longer than the other so then you start and you make uh, your bead so I'm going to put that on there like that now there is no room to put really put anything else on there so what I'm going to do maybe maybe get a little bead let me just get my tweezers might get a little bead just to cap that off that's it and this is going to be a little a bit of a tight squeeze flatten it back in the middle bring it forward and go to do that now that's fine at the bottom that's holding um now wait a minute i want to make another one don't i so we need to start on the next one so we're going to get a couple of these so you're going to get the first one we have to cut the eye remember the flat bit off Put it like an L shape, it's just above the middle, turn it back on itself, leave it open because you're going to attach it. So, where it is. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just pull that back a bit, close that up. Wait a minute. Now, if you find that it's a little bit big, just cut a snip it off because it, I'd left it short remember and I wanted that little bead on so that's it we're just going to make that fit into the eye pull the eye back and push it in together that's it so that's nice and tight join that up with that one so you've got it like that now I'm going to add like a crystal that's it I'm going to add another one of these little beads a uh, little roundels yeah and then we're going to add oh a nice gold pearl and I could just get another roundel on it just to give it a little bit of glam Let me see if I can find the right one. Like that. With just enough space. Bend it backwards. Just above halfway. Bend it back on itself. Like that. And there's a tassel. And they're not hard to make at all let me just move the tools out of the way okay so we've got that one that one that one and that one and then we've got those with the claws claw on and they will go anywhere and then i also did these smaller ones with hooks on and just if you want a small one that's all and you don't want to um, mess about oh these are gold sorry I didn't notice the look then now it, it does help if you try and match them up let me just put those back and we'll get a little gold one out so we'll go for these smaller ones okay like that so again, you take hold, open it up, pop that on, so you can get, oh there's a little gold one, That's, you don't need big ones, if they're just going to go on a project, they'll be fine, but you know, when I dismantle jewellery, just keep as much as you can, that's years and years of collecting, but look, I never have to buy them, it's... Um, it's just something you have to uh, get used to doing is break it when you break jewelry up pop it all um in jars i 
think it's raining again. Yesterday was terrible. Uh, yesterday morning, through the night and through the morning was terrible. It rained non-stop here. So there's a little one that I can hang somewhere. And, you know, to buy those, if you were buying those, they're going to cost you at least one pound, pound fifty. Um, it, you know, because somebody else has took the time to make them. I am putting these in the shop and... Uh, because I've got plenty of my own. I just make things to show you and to put them in the shop. Oh, that's blooming silver, isn't it? With that one, you nana. Uh, that's it. Put the little claw on. Oh, I've got it stuck in my finger. Ow. In my thumb, I mean. There we go. So that's another one of those. And I just love them. I think they're great. Just play around. Now we do need to get those back. So I'm going to pop that one on. Take one of these out. Is that a spare one? No. That's a little bit too big. Like I say, I have different size ones. And there you go. We're all done. And that's another one. Um, the thing is, spend an hour making some up and you'll be surprised at what you can come up with. You really will. Because they're not hard. So we've got that one, that one, that one. Those two with the chain. And these tasseled ones. Like that. Using those beads up that we got off the jewellery. 